What's up, YouTube? Today, I will be showing you how I clean the rotors. How it goes from this left one full of carbon. See all the carbon it has? Just let it build up. Uh, I have a way to uh, I have one way to avoid all this. If you're in the racing, if you're in the drifting, and then you're gonna be opening your rotary all the time, or most of the time, like what, like, like once every three, four months, depending how much boost you're running, how much horsepower are you burn, uh, making. If you can see this one here is already super clean, and at the same time is, let's say like. Uh, 40 50 percent polish so you will avoid some carbon build up so you see this one is almost up uh, this one is trash by the way uh, this one I'll be using it the only thing I'm gonna do is replace the bearing this is for the same engine I'll show you guys how to take apart so it's the cleaning part so uh, this one is trash because of the bearing spin out because the lack of oil so this side is already ready as you can see this one is not done yet this one is not done either so the person will show you you can do it on any any rotor don't worry it will not get damaged the only thing you have to make sure it's on the apex seal grooves. You have to be really gentle on those. Don't bang it around, don't hit it around. Uh, make sure you still have your gap. And then once they're all clean and everything, you're gonna pass a brand new apex seal on each little groove to make sure it goes side by side without stopping. Like it has freedom, it has some free play, it has good to go. So yeah, this is one side down. Let me show you how I'm gonna do it. We're gonna use in a wire brush. It will not damage your rotor, don't worry about it. You can do it, it's fine. Of course, first you have to wash the rotor, uh, gas, uh, or any solvent, whatever you can use if you're doing it at home. And then for this process, you're gonna get that thing going. Your rotor, you're gonna go the sides. You can also go where the apex seal groove goes, which is right here. Just be gentle, don't be scared, don't worry about it. It's like any aluminum or, uh, or any metal head on a piston car. You know, uh, another way to gain po uh, horsepower or gain more of airflow is by parting and polishing. So by polishing means you're gonna smooth all the surfaces out, it's gonna almost look like mirror finishes, and then the air gonna hit in there and it's not gonna have no divers, no anything, it's gonna, it's gonna hit there and they keep going. And the same as this one, if you see this one here is already like, I'm not gonna sand it down, I'm not gonna um, take any material off, only thing I'm doing is doing with the, with the wheel brush, and then I'm cleaning it, that's all we need, and then at the same time I'm cleaning it, it's polishing it a little bit, that's all, the, all we need, you can see the actual little lines from factory when they CNC made this one, and then See all the carbon build up on this one, so that's what we we don't want this. So it should look this way, and then by doing this method, you will avoid on the long run this stupid carbon build up. So again, make sure don't hit any corner. Make sure the grooves are clean. So yeah, don't don't toss them around. Just make sure on these ones. This is the the vital part. So let's uh, let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna start sideways first and we'll see. As you can see, we're already going. It's not too bad, right?
Let's see how it's looking. There you go. That's all we need. Let's get the carbon off. And then at the same time, it's gonna kind of polish it. So don't worry about it. You can do it. There's gonna be people trolling you around that are, oh no, there's no way you can do it. You're not supposed to do it. Yes, yeah, 100% proof. Don't worry about it. I'll do this all the time. And then if you have to open the engine because you're uh, high performance and doing drifting or whatever racing you're doing, when you open your engine again, I'll guarantee you, you're not gonna see more carbon build or at least like, for sure like 50 or 60% less than this. there you have it that's how it looks so I have one side done the other one also and one more to go There you go, the final product. It's for the little groups. You gonna grab an old apex seal or corner seal. Are you gonna scrub it around so you can get all the carbon build off? But that's how <clears throat> I'll clean my rotors. Sometimes it kind of polishes. So. 
It's a good shirt right there. See the difference, right? Just always remember it. Be gentle in these corners. You don't want that. All right, now to clean the grooves, each little groove of the retainers, of the apex seals, of anywhere. You're gonna grab your side seal, break a little piece and then you're gonna put them on each groove. Go here. And then move it side by side. That's all you need. So you, need, so you can get the carbor off. The main point is getting the carbor off. To so build up. That's what you do. Same way each corner here. Same in here. These ones are clean so it's not much. So that's how you do it. A little right there. So you can see it. There you go. Same the other way, same with the air pixel goes, and the groove right there, there you go, clean it up, good, and then when you are you're going to grab an air pixel, air pixel, going to go here, you put them in there, and it has to go across all the way, with no problems. That one is good. Go next side. Same, put them on the edge. There. You drag it across. That's good. Next one. Put them in there. Bring it across. That's good. And I already checked this one. Put them in here. It's good. So this this one is good. The only thing I have to do is replace the bearing. Of course you're gonna be using a press like that one right there. So that one is already there. This one right here is trash. Why? Because the bearing came off. So it's trash. Then same way, you can see them right there. See if I can see damage in here, no. Oh, it's right here. See this apex seal? Because the bearing came off, this thing was all loose, it was hidden on the housing. And the apex seal on this side is already fell all the way down. It's a very flush, flush against the the rotor itself, and they they even had a uh, solid corner zones on this one. It's crazy. Well, this one is trash. I'm still gonna clean it, and then I know people they still want them, and then, and then as a display or something. If someone wants this rotor? Let me know. Comment below. I'll send it over for you guys. All right. So yeah. That's how it is, that's how you clean it. That's how you semi-polish it. With this bite boy right here. So yeah, that's pretty much. That's about it.
There you go. Stay tuned, like, comment, subscribe. That's the cleaning part. I will show you how to clean the housings and everything. That's how you clean the rotors. Oh, that's how I clean the rotors. Everybody has their own way. Just do it right, do it clean. I never, never damage this right here.